Hello everyone, my name is Michael and today we are going to do a part two to the DIY tripod iPhone mount video that we did last week. Recently I've gotten really into astronomy and looking through my telescope which I have off screen over here and I'll show you in a minute and I thought it would be perfect if I could kind of mount my phone to the telescope and then take pictures so I could share it with you or share it with other people because I think it's super cool that you can see planets just right there with your own naked eye. Just so today I'm going to show you how to adapt the iPhone mount that we made last week into one that may work for your telescope at home. I thought I would just stand next to the telescope so you can see how enormous this thing is. So how exactly did I make this mount? Well last time you saw us make the iPhone mount portion of this. So then we needed this. This actually came with my telescope. It's a clamp so you can look at the sun safely. I'm repurposing it for this project. And so to attach this to this, I got a little block of wood from this scrap wood that I found in the garage. I cut it down to about this big and I punched a hole right through the center of it, which I threaded through the tripod nuts that we put in last time. So it holds the block of wood to this and then I drilled a hole right down this so we could put the clamp on and now this will hold the iPhone to the telescope. So this is how you attach the mount to the telescope. So go ahead and put your eyepiece in, screw that down tight, then you're going to want to grab the clamp and the whole mount and you're going to see this part wraps around the telescope and you're just gonna screw that in. And then basically you put your camera into the mount and you, it's a little bit of guesswork, but you aim it over the eyepiece until you get a clear picture. Now I will show you some pictures I actually took with this yesterday. I think they turned out pretty cool. Check those out and I'll see you in the next one where I show you exactly how to do this. So this first picture is Mars. It's not really Mars viewing season right now. So it basically just looks like a red laser dot point. This is Venus. I could have tweaked with the settings a little bit and got a clearer picture, but this was good enough for me for now. This next one is Jupiter. I really love this picture because you can actually see detail of the actual planet. This last one is my favorite planet, Saturn. As you can see, you can clearly see the ring around Saturn. I had to wake up at 5 a.m. to get this picture, but it was totally worth it. I will show you how I made these in the next one. Thanks for watching.